Hello everybody, this is my second series of videos that I'm going to do about permaculture in Iceland, growing food indoors, the first part, and uh, here we can see uh, it's mid-April, since last video was mid March, here we have a big tray with some uh, beans, and you can see there are some nice pots forming. This can be a, eaten as a green bean or as a dried beans. It will be red beans. There are not too many pots. Most of them they are pretty small. And uh, here is another small pot for me. And uh, here in these trays which I put a plastic top so they plastic cover so they get uh, moist. There are lots of stuff. There is some fennel, some Siberian tomato plants, and some uh, celery. And here is some uh, tagetes, marigolds, some spring onions and some garlic which I'm just sprouting indoors. And here is some flowers, uh, dragon flowers, and this is some quinoa and some peppers as well. And there's some wild flowers as well over there on that tray. And here we have some uh, some sunflower more sunflower, which I'm growing first indoors to transplant later outdoors. Here's the garden outdoors. I have a cold frame over there and now I just uh, let the rain fall inside and I put some moss, as you can see, to shelter the plants. Here is some quinoa seedlings as well. And here is a wing bean. It's very lush on top and quite yellow on the bottom. I don't understand why. Apparently it's enjoying more the part shade. Here is very beautiful uh, lima beans. Very lush growth. Lots of flowers inside. And also some nice pots, small ones just forming. Another pot forming over there. And there is a few other pots over down here as well. And here is the pearl milia, very beautiful corn like plant. Here is a Siberian tomato that survive outside. A few night frosts of uh, minus 3 degrees, soil froze, even minus 5 degrees, soil froze and tomato kept alive. And then there was a day of minus 3 degrees, snowing for 24 hours, and soil was frozen and the tomato survived as well. And now just recovered, just dropped a few leaves. And there's a pecan tree, pecan nuts. And now we are going to see the, our nice rocotto pepper over there. It's a little bit different than a normal pepper plant. It's more, reminds me a little bit like Grand Cherry. Down here there are a small quinoa seedlings. Some cow peas over there, but they are not in a very good shape. There is a lack of sunlight now in Iceland raining a lot and snowing and some tiger nuts and some seedlings of pepper here we have very nice trays with salad it's a little bit damaged by frost because I put it one night outside to chill out a little bit the salad but it 
the salt froze and the salad burned slightly so but this is corn salad Velerian locusta and down there it's rocket salad some plants are bigger than others because the first sowing did not really work that well and here is some brussels sprouts in a tray I transplanted some outdoors and here is some seedlings of maca and quinoa here is prosomile another type of, of mile and there's a pigeon pea sprouting over here they like to have dry soil and there's some tomatoes actually they were born wild on that container from the last year there was some fruit fell to the ground and they grow and this is the teff grain it's just growing very well and uh, here is a groundnut Apios americana growing from the the pots an almond tree some jicama Mexican turnip growing very well another winged bean but with some probably some kind of nutrient deficiency because the, the leaves are yellow or some virus disease but it's it's more green as you go to the top but there the other plants are a little bit more healthy and over here we have two trays actually we have a lot of other trays outside from the same grain uh, some of them they are perennial grey and the others are Ulus oats and uh, this is for our grain project outside to cultivate enough grain for a month but the weather is not helping because when I transplant these pots outside the weather has been very hard freezes and uh, the grain has been losing uh, to the frost here is multiplier onions and there is a uh, some sesame plant over there and this is an asparagus over here and some walking onions just sprouting and this is a yam I just ordered the, the plant one month ago so it's now sprouting and uh, over here it's a very beautiful mulberry tree it grows very very quickly and here are some seedlings to experiment in Iceland outdoors some squash squash is actually it's not an experiment it will be the first year it grows very well but here is some corn to try to grow outside and we will try the variety painters mountain corn it's not this one but I'm going to try next week it's a frost hardy variety and over there are some watermelons Siberian watermelons multiplier onions broccoli and here's some uh, cold cold a uh, little bit cold tolerant variety of melons and here sprouting is also some scorzonera black salsify another edible root so I guess it's pretty much uh, everything. We just have a general view of the garden. See you on the next video. Stay tuned for updates.